Welcome to Gumpway Live Cops, where I show how I cop items using this computer, bots, and other resources. If you're interested in learning how to bot, or just interested in watching Live Cops, then let's get into it. Jordan 1, Lost and Found. Restock is happening this month. We're going to cover all the details on this in this video, and I'm going to show you how you can 10 times your chances of copying this sneaker. A lot of you might have taken the L on the last drop, so we are getting around two. I am going to also cover... Uh, what the supposed stock is going to be uh, and i'm going to cover some other secrets that you can do to have a better chance at this so first and foremost to start off uh, i am expecting a decent amount of pairs to restock this isn't going to be like the dtlr restock that we saw after the initial drop where there was only a few hundred pairs even though i was able to actually get a pair off of that restock that restock was very difficult to uh, actually obtain the sneakers i only got one size 13 uh, but we are seeing raffles pop up for this sneaker. We see uh, one raffles loaded on the Chic app for the men's and grade school pairs. I recommend you go and enter that right now. Uh, that is one entry per device. So if you have multiple devices, you can enter multiple sneakers uh, or multiple drawings. I recommend using different addresses if you're going to do that on the Chic app. Now we are gonna see more raffles pop up. Uh, we are gonna see more sites announcing that they are gonna be dropping these. But where the majority of stock is going to go is going to be uh, sneakers. Now sneakers is expected to have a lot of pairs. We're going to cover that in a minute. Uh, now what I'm going to cover in this video is for manual users, meaning you don't run a bot. But if you are interested in learning how to run a bot before this drop, as long as you join my group in, in an inadequate time for us to be able to help you, we can help you get set up with a bot to run on this drop. There is plenty of time. Uh, so if that's something you want to learn, we can help you set up. We do real one-on-one -on -one support in there. And we also have all the resources you need to cop sneakers like this. We have monitors, early information, keywords, guides, uh, you name it, we have it in there. Uh, so if that's something you want to be a part of, we would love to have you. We are going to have a full release guide as well for this sneaker. It is already posted. Now all the sites aren't loaded yet, but that information will populate in the coming days. Uh, so if that's something you want to be a part of, the link's on the screen and in the description below. And yes, if you're not tech savvy, we will teach you how to set up a sneaker bot. We have a lot of members that joined within the last month that are already hitting sneakers. Um, so we'll show you how to do that. Now, I am expecting over 50,000 pairs to load on the sneakers app uh, for this restock. Now, I know this sounds like it's a lot of pairs. Uh, but in reality, it's not. It is a healthy restock, however. We did see around 35,000 pairs load on the Why So Sad SB Dunks, um, which was healthy stock. So 50,000 pairs is definitely going to be healthy stock. But keep in mind, if you remember the last sneakers drop uh, for these on the initial release, the site was absolutely smashed. A lot of people were having trouble getting entries in. Uh, it took 30 minutes to an hour to get your results back. Uh, so I don't expect anything different on this release. Now it is going to be a Leo drop, which means it is a two minute raffle. So a Dan is a 10 minute raffle, a Leo is a two minute raffle. So that means that you are going to have to get your entry in very quick, uh, which makes it difficult to enter multiple accounts. Now we're gonna talk about that in a second as well. So you wanna make sure that you have multiple devices ready, maybe a couple browsers open on your computer, uh, and you're ready to go with different accounts. Now, in terms of different accounts, and I know this is where a lot of people might get confused, you do not wanna enter the same account, mul or the same information multiple times on your accounts. You need to use unique information if you're going to be entering multiple accounts for these sneakers, meaning that if you have multiple addresses, I highly, highly recommend utilizing that uh, as well as different card information, email, phone number, things like that. Now you can actually do uh, two entries per address because as you would, as you imagine, uh, multiple people and households enter for these sneakers. Nike is aware of that, but I wouldn't push it too far if you are going manual for these sneakers. Uh, get your accounts ready, get ready for the drop, be ready to enter, be ready for a lot of errors, make sure everything's prepared inside of the accounts, and as long as you can get all these entries in, you do stand a pretty decent chance at hitting these. Now in terms of your main account, if you want to increase your chances, there is a way to do it. Now I'm not gonna sit here and give you the typical bullshit you see where people are like, oh, if you do this on the app, you're going to be able to hit all these pairs. It doesn't work like that, but there are ways to increase your chances of actually getting selected on draws. And this might help you moving forward for all future sneakers releases on the app. 
It's generating human-like activity. So sneakers is very, very sophisticated in terms of knowing who their actual users are and who aren't. So if you are able to generate activity by just going on the app daily, scrolling around, watching some of the videos, clicking some of the sneakers, maybe adding some of them to favorites, this is going to help you. Now, another thing that helped me tremendously in 2020, uh, just manually entering on my own personal account was downloading the Nike Run app. Now I know it's annoying to open that app and use it, but if you start using that and you link that account to your current sneakers account, it shows real human-like activity. So maybe pop it on if you're at work, start walking around the office with it or whatever you do, or if you go to the gym, turn it on. But that is gonna let Nike know that you are a real user. This is going to greatly increase your chances of copying this sneaker. We are expecting a lot of stock. I would take this seriously. This should be a good release. The release is currently expected to happen on the 18th of this month. Now this is subject to change. Nike can do whatever they want to do as we know, but we are expecting to see these on the 18th. I hope you got this information before everybody else. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. I'll continue to bring you information like this, but this release is going to be huge. These are currently profiting around 200 to $250 a pair. This is a grade school size, so this is only about $100 profit, but still make sure you enter grade school sizes as well. This is going to be a huge release and this is something you definitely don't want to miss. I hope this video helped everyone. Once again, if you are looking to learn how to buy or cop sneakers like this and just increase your chances, the link to my cook group is on the screen here and in the description below. Yes, we will teach you if you have no idea what you're doing, it's totally okay. That's what most of our members uh, came in like uh, and we have shown thousands how to do this. So if that's something you want, uh, feel free to join. We would love to have you and I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck on the Lost and Foundries stock.